All right, example seven, final example for the day. We have another one of these weird fractions. So we're gonna simplify the top and simplify the bottom separately. And then we can deal with the fraction. Um, in this case, I would argue that the bottom is already simplified because it's only a single number, right? So we really only have to simplify the top. Um, and the top is a little tricky. We have this weird like double set of parentheses um, which shows up in some formulas that you may or may not see in the future. Um, but we use these in like finance. If you, or Math 47, we do some financial math. You might see that there. Um, but I have these inside parentheses and then I have another set of parentheses on the outside. Um, so the way order of operations works is we're gonna start from the inside and work our way out. So we're gonna start with one plus point one. which is 1.1, and I haven't touched anything else. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the pink parentheses, but I still have to simplify inside. So we're gonna do 1.1 to the fourth power, right? Get rid of that exponent. One hundred one point four six four one minus one, so now I'm almost done with those pink parentheses, I'm gonna subtract, and that's because I'm still inside parentheses. And then we're almost done. So 1.4641 minus one, and then 0.4641, and then you can write a time sign or the parentheses both mean multiply. So we just multiply, We get 46.41. And then remember, this was only the top. So we're going to go back to that original equation. We get 46.41 on top, and we get 0.1 on the bottom. And we just divide, and that is how we simplify this expression. If you try to do all of this on your calculator at once, it's really, really challenging. So it's better to take it step by step. If you're using the iPhone calculator, it's impossible to do all at once. So just, again, follow order of operations. Uh, so leave any questions below.